Namaste, I'm Dr. Kalpita Thakre, surgeon working in Apollo Ayurveda HRBR. Today we'll be discussing about the different types of ulcers. So ulcers are usually due to different underlying diseases. It can be due to varicose veins or DVT that is venous ulcers or due to diabetes that is diabetic ulcers, any arterial diseases leading to arterial ulcers and so on. Today we'll discuss about venous ulcers. So in patients with long-standing varicose veins or uh, DVTs or deep vein thrombosis leads to these ulcers. How are these ulcers presenting? They are usually present in the lower third of the leg. There is significant discoloration of the skin around the ulcers. Initially these ulcers are painful and as in when they progress they lead to limb swelling, eczema and itching. Now what is the pathology behind these ulcers? In cases of varicose veins and DVT, due to the incompetence and structural deformity of the veins, there is incompetent valves and the perforating veins leading to obstruction of the blood flow and stasis in the lower limbs, which leads to hypoxia, where there is decreased oxygen supply to the tissues, which leads to tissue death. This tissue death will further lead to ulcer formation. Now, in-depth analysis and examination of these ulcers is very important. After your doctor does these examinations, they will suggest investigations which will help understanding the underlying disease better. So the treatment of venous ulcers is done through Ayurveda Panchakarma therapies along with Shalya Chikitsas. This helps in treating the underlying cause as well as the localized ulcer. Now some general rules that can be followed at home to prevent these ulcers are 1. Avoidance of prolonged walking, prolonged standing, Along with that, regular walking for at least 30 minutes every day, ankle flexion exercises. In cases of patients with varicose veins or DVTs, you should wear compression stockings or bandages. And with patients with eczematous changes or skin itching around that ulcer, proper application of emollients is very important to prevent the further progression of the ulcers.